Hello Disney fans, it's Sassy Shortcake and today I've put together a bit of a fishing, foraging and flower guide for the peaceful meadow and for the plaza. And I just wanted to show off this cute dress. I'm loving how you can customize and make your own creations. I just think this is so adorable. <laughs> okay, so first off I'm going to start with like the flowers and the herbs that you can get in the plaza. Here is your herb that you can get and this is oregano. I will touch on the fruit plants and bushes but I'll come back to that. First I'll do the flowers. Here we've got a red falling penstemon and a blue falling penstemon. And we've basically just got four different colors. Here we go we've got softwood and softwood can be found in pretty much all biomes, except I think maybe the beach. A night shard. So if you dig those glowing spots, you'll pretty much always get a night shard. And these again can be found in all biomes. If we come over here, we have our white and pink falling penstemon. And this took me ages to find. And that's what inspired me to make this guide, in fact. <laughs> Because I had the f goofy photo quest and I wasn't sure what exactly they looked like or if they were even spawning. In the end, I think they just were unlucky. They weren't spawning. But we eventually got there. You also want to open the vines whenever you see them around. We also have up here dandelions. These are the yellow flowers up here. And I think we've got one more flower up here to go, and that is the purple falling penstemon. And right now I can see a blue chest. You, this is a daily chest, so you'll have, find one of these hidden on your island or your land somewhere every single day. And you just get some moonstones from inside there. So I might try and open a few more of these thorns. I'm looking for a, a dream light shard basically to show you but you get random things out of here you get coins you get seeds you get coal they're all helpful things so now I'm going to be showing you where the fruit trees and fruit bushes are and I also just wanted to show you that you can basically dig up soil on nearly all of the biomes I don't think you can do this on the beach but pretty much every other biome you can just dig the floor and you'll get soil so here on the map you can actually see where all of these fruit trees are and in fact you can move them to where you want them to be. I've left them where they are for now just for this tutorial so I can show you where each of them are. We've got three apple trees so apple tree number one is obvious right next to your house. Next you'll follow this path down and you'll find your first raspberry bush up the top. Now you want to go past Mickey's house continue down past Scrooge's shop and on the right you have your second apple tree and your third apple tree is just along here too right here and your second and final raspberry bush in the plaza is up the top here next to the restaurant now we're going to go downstairs and I'll show you all of the fruit trees and fruit bushes again down here. You want to come past Goofy's cart and raspberry bush number one is here. We've actually got three raspberry bushes down here. There's one in front of Merlin's house. And then I'm going to show you the banana trees next. We have a banana tree here. Keep running down here past, I've actually got my uh, Romy's house down here. So past Goofy's house and there is another raspberry bush. Actually there's four raspberry bushes down here. I said three, there's four. And our other banana tree right next to this first raspberry, raspberry bush. And our fourth and final raspberry bush is over here near the large pond. And that's all of our fruit. I just wanted to show you these are the fruits and veggies or sorry the vegetables that are native here that can be purchased at Goofy's cart once it's upgraded. So we have carrot, lettuce and wheat. And it shows right there with that little green arrow that these are native to this area. 
Okay, so if you break these black rocks, this is your best way to get coal and stone and also different kinds of gems. And these are all around. If you follow the walls around, then you'll find them. I'm just going to continue opening a couple of thorns. Hopefully I can find one of those streamlight shards. Apparently the spawn rate is really low for this and it's not quite meant to be as low as what it is. So keep your eyes peeled for a po possible fix on that. And right here we have our purple rising penstemon. I've also spotted behind me, I think that's a basil back there. Let's go around and take a look. Yes it is, it's a basil. And we've also got a daisy over here too. We've got a yellow daisy. These daisies come in three different colors. We've got yellow daisies, red daisies, white daisies. So let's take a look and see if we can find more. And actually we're in luck because there's a red and a white one right here. That takes some of the work out of it. Oh, I did not meant, mean to pick that up. I just picked up a something entirely different and that would be the green rising penstemon. I will have a little look and see if I can find a different one for you so you can see what that looks like. Oh, here, here we've got a banana tree again. Ah, I've spotted one. Here we go. So this little thing here, it basically looks like a weed. It's a flower. <laughs> so let's continue digging through some of these thorns and hopefully we can find a dream shard. I actually received some in the post today, I think to make up for the low spawn rate because you will need these four quests. Here we go, we finally found a dream shard. Hooray. Okay, so finally I'm going to be sharing a, a bit of a fishing guide with you. So we get blue blue bubbles, orange bubbles and white bubbles. And they're basically like how common they are and how hard, difficult the fish are to catch. So blue in the meadow will yield a brim. And I guess you would call it uncommon because it's the middle difficulty. Now I would call this rare in the orange bubbles. This is the hardest fish to catch in, well, I guess, all of the places. Red is the, red bubbles, are, orange bubbles are the hardest to catch. And the fish that we have for the meadow is the catfish. So. The meadow, we have four different types of fish and everywhere, every body of water, you can actually catch seaweed as well. So here we go, we're fishing in the white bubbles and this can bring up a, a couple of different types of fish. You can get the rainbow trout and you can also get the bass. But to get the, the bass, you don't actually need to fish in those bubbles. You can just fish straight into the pond. And let's hope this is a bass and not a seaweed. Oh, lucky. <laughs> that was super lucky because usually it's the seaweed. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this guide. Uh, please like and subscribe to Boss Man Plays if you enjoyed it and enjoy these squirrels dancing. Goodbye.